morning. We are now on our fourth day of southwestern Ontario. Um, it is about 8.15 a.m. and we're heading to Petrolia, Ontario where the early uh, oil rigs from the 19th century are and I believe there's a museum site as well. All right, see you there. Okay, so we are in Petrolia, Ontario, where the first oil rigging uh, operation happened in the early 20th century, uh, around 1903. And these are the early tools that they used. They actually didn't drill like today. They uh, dug it out. Now it does smell like oil around here. They have everything preserved in, uh, it's called the Petrolia Discovery. Uh, let me walk you through what's here. Even the buildings and how they lived. And Now, the whole city is called Petrolia. That should tell you a lot about how they see it. Like before Alberta and before the Gulf, they started here until they depleted most of the oil and then moved on. But this is all what was left behind. They used all wooden tools, digging, not drilling. So yeah. There's a whole park dedicated to that. There you go. The Petrolia Discovery. I love how Ontario just preserves everything historic for their heritage. Even the early rides, everything is here. Look at that. Okay, let me take some pictures and move on. stop is uh, considered the largest train station in a small town in Ontario. Um, it was part of the Buffalo-Michigan uh, railway ra line and uh, the reason why they built it this big because they considered it to be where they, f they fixed the railway cars and uh, there was a f um, segregated based on racial uh, segregation um, it it was later on uh, decommissioned and restored to, to include the railway hall of fame inside so I'll check it out inside how it used to be in the old days. An old radio. Lunchroom. Good that they kept all this. Now it's uh, for events and hallways. 
this is what you used to be, what you used to look like. It was one of the busiest. And they have an Underwood typewriter over here, which is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Mia Room. Look at that. <laughs> okay, on to the next stop. Okay, so our next stop is the Oxford County Jail in Woodstock. Now there's an interesting story behind this jail. Um, one of the few that were uh, scheduled for execution, a comic named uh, Thomas Cook in 1862. Um, he was convicted of beating his wife to death and was scheduled to be hanged. Um, on the hanging day, apparently, whoever is taking care of the operation made the rope too long, so he fell into the trap and his hand had basically was decapitated. And yeah, this is the famous story of Thomas Cook. Now, recently, or now, it's a, it's a, they have his head right here, as you can see, <laughs> to remind them of the gruesome death of uh, Thomas Cook. It's called the death, the death mask. It, Yeah, so let me take some pictures and move on. Now, this was built using Yellowstone in an Italian octagon style. So it's, it's a bit of a famous architecture that would interest a lot of people. Okay. Okay, so we're on uh, on to our next destination. Uh, snow spoles have started, and it's open fields here in farmland. So it's gonna be a slow drive. Okay, so all of a sudden a storm started, and I got stuck in a ditch, and now I'm, I got a tow truck to get me out. So now I'm thinking, let's wrap it up and not push it the cars uh, there's no damage on the car let's get out while we can and not go further <laughs> so yeah there wasn't much left anyway um it just gives me enough time to get home before sundown if this storm is going to continue so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it because I did and till the next uh, I think in February I'll be going in Toronto and Central Ontario and find some hidden gems because that's where I live but I might have not went everywhere so yeah keep following and if you're interested in joining me on those trips let me know we'll uh, get something ready um, yeah I will see you soon.